Uh, you want to see a douchebag? I'm looking three of them right here. Yeah, but, uh, oh, damn. oh my god, bro. talking so loud I'm talking to myself seemingly but she'll get used to it won't you just talked to Mitchell and Cole and they got the other head pulled off so not real sure what we're gonna do tonight but I slept pretty late so I'm gonna find something to do I really want to build a giant softbox to shoot cars in I was thinking about this earlier. I've just been kind of, I've been lost in thought this whole drive. And yeah, I think I'm going to build a giant soft box. I've got one wall and a decent looking floor and a soft box. I think I can make some really cool stuff. Definitely can't afford to build a cyclorama, although I'd like to. What are you doing to the teeth? I think that if we build, I don't know, maybe a 20 by 30 or 20 by 40 section, if we get some white lycra and I put lights above that, then stretch it across, have my soft box. Doesn't need to be super high, probably 10 or 12 feet off the ground. I need to be able to control the lights above it. And right now I'm just kind of thinking out loud, to be honest with you. We could film all our videos there, or at least a large portion of our videos there. I could do my, you guys don't know about this yet, but I started another channel here on the ground floor. It's called Audio Motive Hi-Fi Exhaust. Do really high quality audio recordings of different types of exhaust, maybe some reviews, we'll see. But, but for sure, idle clips, startup clips, flybys, some in-car audio, as well as exterior audio while it's driving. Something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I've always had the equipment, I just haven't always had the time. And now that this is kind of starting to take off the YouTube world, I want to do more of that. Uh, hopefully while I'm down in Florida, I can do some like Ruby and Leroy and some of the different cars that'll be there. I think the first one I'll do is going to be the Escalade and I'm pretty excited about it. For the audio nerds and the exhaust nerds out there using really high quality mics that kind of blends my two passions which is cars and music and I know all this about microphones and all the audio junk just from being involved in music over the years and learning how to be an engineer, how to mix. I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully it'll take off and we'll start making money and I can invest more money into it, buy more mics, and eventually, who knows? The car review channels do really well. A car review channel on exhausts, it's not really out there. has some really cool overpasses, bridges. I love it here. I can't wait to explore some more. 
Oh, man. We were just uh, reminiscing on my old, old I stuff. saw it. Look at this. You were uh, quite an interesting yeah. character. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to wash some of these parts off, some of these V band clamps. And I decided I'm going to cut one of these. One of these coolant bottles and cut the top off of it. How about that? Let's see if this works. Just like that. That's all you gotta do. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. That gummit, Dale. I'll tell you what, somebody glued that battery back on and they didn't they didn't glue it very good. Was that Mitchell? Loretta? Don't make me go put you up. Yeah, I need to get glued back. I'm making myself a little cleaning tub. Quit. That girl loves to lick. Nice. I like the organization. Makes it putting back together a whole lot easier. Just trying to bite. There you go. Need a parts cleaner. this pad out and then uh, buff it slick, make it shiny.
went to the parts store and I got some 800 wet or dry. And I read some tips and tricks on somebody's forum and they said to use the metal polish along with the sandpaper. So, it seems to be working pretty well. I tested a couple spots and then I can polish out the 800 scratches with my little wool pad here. So, I'm tickled. I'll just be sitting here for the next, I don't know, six years doing this. I do still wish I had some 400 or some 600 to kind of speed this process along, but it ain't too bad. They're not gonna be perfect, but man, are they gonna be shiny. Got a couple of little spots there. Hadn't even really wiped them off yet. So, stay tuned. I'll turn this two into a time lapse. You wanna see a douchebag? I'm looking at three of them right here. Yeah, but, uh, oh, damn. oh my god. Bro. I'm about to drop my sandwich. It's not essential. It's not essential it's to finish the I bet it's essential now, ain't it? Yeah, it is because they, they have to both look like that. This now. isn't even, this is just with the wool pad. I hadn't even hit it with the finish pad yet.